pandemic has taken a heavy economic toll on minority-owned businesses. And according to a recent Fed survey, Asian Americans have been hit the hardest. Nearly 80% of Asian-owned businesses describe their financial condition as fair or poor. That's more than any other race or ethnicity. Here's CNBC's Kate Rogers. Nancy Yu has been in business for some 20 years, running her retail storefront Asia Star in San Francisco's Chinatown. She's weathered ups and downs, but nothing quite like 2020. Sales are down 80%, but she still opens her doors every day to send a message. I think it's important that we open, we, we stay open, even though there's no businesses coming. The San Francisco Chamber of Commerce says the zip code where Chinatown is located, which also houses the hard-hit financial district, has seen an outsized impact during the pandemic as it relies heavily on tourism. 75% of storefronts were non-operational at some point in 2020, compared to the city average of 54%. Minority-owned businesses are more likely to be non-employer firms. Advocates say lenders may have been less incentivized to make smaller loans to those micro-businesses under the PPP last year. And smaller companies don't always have the established banking connections or manpower to apply for aid. I think um, this pandemic uh, in many areas, and this one in, uh, included, um, has shown the di digital divide uh, that people who have access to and, and the skill set uh, to apply for PPP, which is not an easy thing to do, um, maybe got left out. Beyond the pandemic's impact on business, the Asian American community facing a painful threat, an uptick in violence and racism over the last year. We want to let people know that we are here for peace. We are here for prosperity. We are here for American dream. You know, we have the same dream. That's why we came to America. While incomplete, the latest PPP demographic data show Asian loan recipients trailing other minority groups with about 60,000 loans approved so far. Nancy was able to access a loan, and she's staying optimistic, planning to open a second location selling boba tea later this year in Chinatown. Shep? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.